Rangers win, baby. 2-1 to one over the San Jose Sharks. This is a game where I'm happy with the outcome, not too happy with the effort overall. Was it improvement over the effort against Seattle? Yeah. Was it improvement over the one against Arizona? Yeah. It was certainly an improvement over the past few efforts, but at the same time, I expect a bit more from this team. I mean, the fact that they couldn't capitalize enough on their scoring opportunities is just sad. Reimer can't be doing things like this to you. He was awful tonight. The amount of posts you hit, the amount of opportunities that you had on rebounds because he couldn't control rebound you had opportunities to absolutely annihilate the sharks tonight you didn't and the defensive lapses they improved throughout the game yes but there was way too many there was way too many especially in the second period i thought the defense played an awful game of hockey i thought the first period they were decent the third period i thought they were great up until the end when they decided for whatever reason yeah let's take our foot off the gas but there's a lot to talk about here. Before we jump into it, leave a like on the video if you do enjoy. Subscribe if you guys are new, especially if you're Ranger fans. And turn on your notifications so you know when I upload a video next. And for anyone that's going to say off the rip that I'm being negative, it's because I expect more from this team. They made the conference finals last year, and they're a team that needs to show more consistency, and they need to actually beat up on teams like this. It's unacceptable to have these close games to not capitalize. And listen, if anyone wants to say this is an early funk, fine, but... When are we going to start seeing results? Because it's been weeks now. It's almost 20 games into the season at this point. When are we going to actually see it? But the Sharks, I mean, started off the rip very hot. Igor got tested very early. It wasn't until the penalty that Goche drew on Lorenz and the Rangers ended up getting some quality chances on that delay penalty. Blay almost got one in front. Mika fired one that almost got tipped in. The Rangers actually got opportunities there. But it took a San Jose mistake there for the Rangers to actually get going. And then Mika with a one-timer chance on the power play. That was pretty much it. They didn't do anything else there on that power play. Kako then got a chance in front. And it almost bounced in, but doesn't go through. Goche with a bad turnover in the neutral zone. The Sharks got quality chances there off of that, especially from the blue line, because the Rangers' point pressure was not really there for the most part tonight. I thought it improved as the game went on, but... I thought that it wasn't there early on, especially, and they left, uh, I don't remember who it was wide open there, but they got a couple chances. Schneider then with a bad defensive play as well. Meyer got a good shot off of that, and he got denied, but again, you can't be having mistakes like this. Miller then lets a guy walk in, but Truba had to make a big defensive play to stop that opportunity. Then Carlson was left wide open for an opportunity for the blue line. That shot couldn't go through. You're seeing what I'm saying here? The, the Sharks were just getting way more opportunities early on. And then the Rangers did end up getting a good shift from the kid line. And Kako had a wide open net. Missed it. Had a second, uh, second opportunity. Missed it. Couldn't bury it twice. You need to capitalize on these opportunities. Panarin then set up Trocek for a great opportunity as Reimer was falling. And instead of shooting it, he decides to wait. And Meyer ends up making a good defensive play off of it. So you have to shoot the puck there right away. Carpenter then with a trash defensive play as the point gets a shot off. Uh, again, no point pressure there and not enough. And this was when Sammy Blay kind of just wandered off as well, trying to make a defensive play elsewhere. I don't know what he was doing, but uh, it almost got deflected in. Jones had to clear the rebound. Nice little play there. Carpenter then threw a huge hit on Nico Sturm. That ended up being a two-minute boarding penalty. I thought there was an argument legitimately for maybe a five-minute major there, but I'm thankful that it ended up being the two minutes, so I'm not going to complain. Rangers with... Uh, but overall, I thought they had a better defensive effort from the last game, but the lapses were still there. They were there way too much in that first period. Got scoring chances, couldn't capitalize on it. It was a decent period, but I thought it wasn't good enough. 15-8 to eight in favor for the Rangers for shots in that period. And again, I thought they could have been better. Second period, though, they played a lot worse. So I should be thankful for how they played in the first without bad they played in the second. I thought the defensive lapses were way worse there. Kreider and Mika got a two-on-one shorthanded and Mika fired wide. You have to bury that opportunity. Again, another chance there where you have to hit the net. You have to. It's ridiculous how many missed shots this team has this year. Igor then with a big save right after that because the Sharks got a rush. Sharks then with a few more chances, but the Rangers end up killing that penalty. Sharks got more chances. Igor had to make stop after stop. Keandre Miller then hits a post. Igor then had to make a stop because Zach Jones, for whatever reason, decided to shoot the puck right in front. 
Timo Meyer then goes off for holding as he holds Adam Fox behind the net there. Offensive zone penalty. We like that, right? Fox then hits the post on an opportunity. Panarin hits the crossbar on an opportunity. You're not hitting the net. Penalty, it was killed. Rangers looked better on that power play, but couldn't convert. Meyer then fanned on an opportunity in front. Jones and Miller, though, bad little defensive plays in the sequence as San Jose got more opportunity. Schneider and Jones then with some bad op- uh, bad defensive plays as well as the Sharks almost tipped one in. Trocek with a chance in the slot, denied. Fox and Lindgren let Carlson walk right in. Carlson got denied. Again, you're letting guys just walk in nonstop. And this was definitely their worst period, I will say. Jones then let uh, Sveshikov walk in for a wraparound chance. Didn't like that. Benino then went off for holding, and the Rangers ended up getting some opportunities again on the power play as Kreider missed a backdoor chance on the side of the net. Rangers couldn't end up converting. Heedle and Kako then got a two-on-one. Kako got denied. I like that he shot the puck there. I thought he was going to try to dish that back over the Heedle there. That would have been a mistake. So glad he at least shot it. Couture then walked in all alone. Broke his stick, thankfully. Truba and Miller, though. Another uh, bad play there. It's Truba ended up turning it over. End of that. That was an awful period. I thought that was their worst period of the game. Shots were 12 to 11 in favor of the Rangers. Not good enough there. Third period, though. I'm happy for the most part with how they played in the third period. Miller got a chance early from the top of the slot. Good. Reimer got tested. The Rangers got a couple bounces. One going off of VC's foot. Yet another one going off of Adam Fox or whatever. Rangers kept getting chances. Miller with a bad pinch and the Sharks got a, uh, a chance. Thankfully, they fired wide because the Sharks couldn't get a shot on goal until later in this period. Kreider then with a chance and that almost got across to Mika. Couldn't. Lindgren then pitched too far up. Fox has to make a nice play to break up a two-on-one. Lindgren then does it for Fox as Fox jumped too far up on a rush. Trocek then hits a post. Meyer left wide open, couldn't connect on a pass. Again, you got a lot of lucky breaks here as well. The Sharks had a lot of opportunities with the, with the wide open cage, but they ended up not capitalizing on the opportunities that they got. Rangers continued to put the pressure on, but just couldn't find the back of the net. Eventually they did, though, as they ended up winning a faceoff, and Truba fires a shot from the blue line, and Julian Goche tips that one in. Keandre Miller would pick up the assist on this one as well. One to nothing game. But then the Rangers, for whatever reason, for what, instead of gaining momentum, they took their foot off the gas, and San Jose got a lot of opportunities. But the Rangers got a two-on-one the other way. BC Rob by Reimer as Kreider got that pass across. Again, you got to score on these opportunities. You gotta. And then the Rangers on a two, uh, uh, on a two on out. They make it two to nothing uh, on the empty netter. But this was embarrassing as you had all five guys just passing it around for whatever reason instead of shooting on the open net. And they just took forever and ever to score this empty net goal. But Adam Fox would eventually from Zibanejad and VC two to nothing. And then they took their foot off the gas again. Couturier, uh, or Couturier, wow, wrong team. Logan Couture left wide open back door, uh, and whoever was the left-handed defenseman has to be there to make the defensive play. He wasn't, and that ended up making it a 2-1 to one game right there. Igor then with another big save at the end of this one on Couture, not Couturier, on Couture, and the Rangers end up holding on the win, 16-4 to four in favor for the Rangers' shots in the third. I thought they were a lot better in the third period. Still wasn't great at the end. I thought that they took their foot way too much off the gas and got way too comfortable with that lead they got. But at the end of the day, um, I don't know how to feel. I don't know how to feel. I, like a win's a win, but you got to be better. You got to be better. Uh, it's just unacceptable. It's just unacceptable. But I'll take it if it means they're going to start to play better. If this gives them any sort of momentum, then hey, I'll like it. But... You got to build off what you did in the third period because the first two periods were not great enough. In terms of how each line played the first line, Kreider, Zibanejad, and VC, I thought they were okay. VC had a couple good opportunities tonight, got robbed on that last minute opportunity, like I mentioned. Thought he had a decent game. Zibanejad had eight shots on goal. He couldn't buy a goal tonight. And then Kreider, four shots on goal, couldn't buy a goal tonight either. Both of them had decent games. Um, You got to be better, though. 
you, you got to be better. At some point, they got to start putting the puck in the net. At some point, it's not just they're getting unlucky and they actually have to start capitalizing on these opportunities. And I'm sorry to be the negative guy and to be harsh here, but that it's just the reality of the situation. It's not going to fly if you keep playing this way. It's not. The second line, Panarin, Trocek, and Goudreau. I thought they weren't too great tonight. I thought Panarin wasn't great at all. There was a play that he made. I think it was in the first period, I want to say. No, it might have been the third even, where he just left the pass right in the middle of the ice and the Sharks get a rush the other way. It's like, what are you doing? And there was way too many times a lazy defensive play too, I believe, in the third period as well. You got to be better. Panarin's got to show me a bit more on these back checks here. He's just lazy at times. He just is. And the defensive effort's not there enough. Uh, Trocek, I thought he was the best player on that line. Five shots on goal, 59% of the faceoff dot as well. I thought Trocek had some good opportunities in this game. Couldn't buy a goal as well. But I thought that he was definitely one of the better forwards tonight. And then Barker Goudreau was okay. I, I would have liked a bit more from him. Would have liked a bit more. He just looks like a misfit on that line. That's the issue. You need someone that fits that line. Maybe play Vitaly Kravtsov next game and get Ryan Carpenter out of the lineup. Just an idea. Uh, the third line, I thought they were streaky tonight. I thought Lafreniere, Hedl, and Kako, there were shifts. They looked great. And they actually were in the offensive zone, generating chances, sustaining pressure. And then there were times where they were not great. And they were the only line, really, I had noticed that kind of sustained pressure at all at any point in the game tonight, which is concerning because... That's something that I want the Rangers to get better at. I want them to actually sustain pressure in the offensive zone, get opportunities that way, versus every time it's just off of the rush. Like I want to see them actually be able to cycle the puck and get shots off that way. The rush, it it's okay, but it's not a quality brand of hockey. It's not, and especially if you're not going to capitalize on your opportunities you get. But Kako, he's just a snake bit. I, I don't, I don't know. How this guy can't he can't score a goal here. Four shots on goal for him. He looked good tonight, but at some point the puck's gotta go in. It is what it is. The puck's gotta go in. Hedo, I thought, was kind of unnoticeable for the most part. Same with Laffy. I thought both of them were unnoticeable. The only time I noticed Laffy is when he was falling every two seconds on the ice. That's about it. Would have liked a bit better of an effort from those two in particular, but that's really uh all I gotta say about that line. And then the fourth line. Goche had a great night. I thought that he was the best forward on that line, and I think he should be in the top six over Barkley Goudreau. Him getting a goal, two shots on goal. I thought he was played a solid game, only eight minutes of ice time. Criminal, just absolutely criminal of Gallant to do. Uh, he drew a penalty as well. I, I don't understand what Goche has to do to get more ice time. I think he's playing some of the better hockey out of the rest of the team, but I, I'm again, I say it all the time. I'm glad he understands his role though on this team. And at Carpenter, I, I want him out of the lineup. I really do. I think you gotta, you gotta move Goudreau down to that fourth line. You gotta get crafts off on the, on that second line. I think it would help the offense thrive more. I mean, look at that game in Detroit. Kravtsov was there, and I thought the second line actually had more opportunities that game, so I don't think it's a coincidence. And I'm not saying Kravtsov was a difference maker by any means, but he certainly helped that game, I thought. And that was the last game he played, if I'm not mistaken. And then, but yeah, Carpenter couldn't even win faceoffs tonight. I thought he had a rough game. And then Blay, I thought he had a rough game as well. Um... He didn't get a lot of ice time either. And again, the Rangers being this top heavy is not, uh, not ideal either by any stretch of the imagination, but it is what it is, I guess. And then the defense, too many lapses tonight. Langren and Fox was probably the best defensive pair. Didn't like enough. I mean, there was one back check that Fox had. I think it was in the third period. Lazy, lazy back check there, especially when he pinched too far up. Didn't like that. Almost led to a scoring chance there for the Sharks. Didn't like it, but for the most part, I thought he had a great night, and he was probably your best defenseman. Lindgren, I thought, had a pretty solid night as well and was stable. There were times where they pinched too far up, but for the most part, I thought that they were your best defensive pair. Miller, though, on the other hand, he pinched up way too much tonight, and I don't know what it was, but 
I didn't like Miller's game, really. I think he could have been better. I thought Truba was the better of that pair. And I thought Truba had a better game than what we've seen. But I still would like a bit more. I still would like more. Way too many opportunities that uh, that defensive pair allowed yet again. Of letting guys walk in countless times. Turning over the puck. They got to be better. And I, I know, again, that people are going to say I'm being too harsh on this team. But it's the San Jose Sharks, man. It is. And I expect better. I do. And then Schneider and Jones, that was your worst defensive pair of the night easily. They were not good enough at all. They allowed way too much. Schneider had one good offensive zone shift in the third period. That was about it. Outside of that, I thought that that pair was brutal and they allowed way too much. That was your that was the worst defensive pair easily. Schneider turned the puck over in the first period in particular. I remember a brutal turnover that led to an opportunity. You got to you got to simply be better than that. And Jones, unnoticeable, unnoticeable. Um, and he wasn't good enough. Uh, Shesterkin deserved the shutout. He played out of his mind and he was the reason that this game didn't get completely out of hand and wasn't a blowout, wasn't close. So uh, or was close. So Igor Shesterkin sucks. He deserved the shutout, but. A defensive mistake ends up allowing that opportunity there, unfortunately, but he played out of his mind. I can't say enough good things, but that's really all I have for this game. You go to LA, I'd like to see better. I'm not too thrilled. I I'm happier than what we've seen as of lately, but it's still not good enough. It simply isn't. You need better defensive effort uh, for a full 60 from these guys. I like the third period. I didn't like the first two. Simple as that. And again, even in the third period, you can't take your foot off the gas after getting that lead. And you got to start capitalizing on these chances and putting the puck in the net at some point. At some point, the their unlucky excuse runs out. So let's hope they can turn it around and give me a better effort here in LA. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. I'm sure people are going to tell me I'm being too harsh. And listen, I I'm here for it. We could all have our opinions, but... That I, I, I'm not too satisfied overall with the effort. Let me know your thoughts again, though, in the comment section down below. Would love to hear from you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this one. If you did enjoy, leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you guys are new, especially if you're Ranger fans. Turn on your notifications so you know when I upload a video next, and I'll see you in the next one. Let's go, Rangers.